Hello dear viewers and welcome to a new episode of Windows. I'm your host for tonight, uh, Mohammed Abdelrahim. And tonight uh, we'll be talking about cybersecurity, that all important uh, uh, topic uh, with all the challenges facing cybersecurity. And uh, we saw what happened uh, last week uh, with Microsoft and, and the airports and, uh, and much uh, of, uh, of the world. Uh, so, uh, and we have an expert guest with us here in the studio who will define for us the parameters of cybersecurity, who will tell us what happened this past week, who will tell us why Egypt was safe uh, from that uh, uh, threat, and will talk to us about um, this uh, ever uh, fastly uh, uh, evolving uh, field uh, of cybersecurity and uh, information technology. Our distinguished guest uh, with us tonight is Dr. Abdullah Mustafa. He is an assistant professor at the yes. Computer uh, Science and Engineering Department, the Faculty of Electronic uh, Engineering at Munufeya University, and he is also a member of the Board of Directors of the Cyber Security Program at uh, uh, Al Munufeya uh, uh, University. Uh, a very good evening to you, uh, Dr. Uh, thank you so much, Mustafa, sir. and thank you. Uh, for uh, for joining us, uh, Dr. Mustafa is, is, is also uh, has also had an experience uh, in the field of cybersecurity and IT uh, in Japan, uh, in Australia, and other parts uh, uh, of the world. Uh, can you tell us first about uh, your um, academic and uh, uh, professional uh, uh, path uh, so far? Before we get into uh, our talk, tell us about Japan experience. Australia experience and uh, other experiences. Uh, sure, thank you so much uh, for your introduction uh, at first and uh, then after that I graduated from Minifi University actually in 2010. After 2010 I, uh, I put my military service uh, for three years, uh, started my master degree in uh, 2011 and finished it in 2015. Uh, actually, it was in Minufia University. After that, I joined... What uh, was the topic of, uh, of the master's? Uh, uh, Fusing uh, medical images and try to, to have uh, something, uh, a mixed image between the MRI, uh, MRI images and CT images to have uh, some intuitions for, doc for the doctors uh, that mm -hmm. help them to see something in between soft uh, uh, tissues and hard tissues and something like that. That's wonderful. And we, we always hear that, uh, you know, uh, amongst the applications, for instance, of artificial intelligence, if I, if I got it right, is the medical field. I mean, it's yes. so important. Yes, you are right. For the it it, it field, was so. uh, actually in the medical field, and we were trying yeah. to, uh, to overcome some limitations of the devices. So we, 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 mm. we were trying to use some software to, uh, to make this fusion technique. Uh, mm. And we used uh, a little bit AI in this, uh, in this mm. time mm. Uh, to help doctors have uh, best results and best uh, decisions based on what uh, they can see. Wonderful. Uh, after that, in 2015, actually, I joined uh, Egypt, Jab Egypt Japan University of Science and Technology. I started my PhD, uh, actually, in crowd scene analysis and anomaly detections. Uh, in my PhD, was, we, 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 was actually, uh, we were trying to detect something like uh, anomalies in airports, anomalies in train stations. Wow, uh, airports. So what happened last week yes, <laughs> is really related uh, some, to, some, some, some strange to your scenarios. study. Yeah. Yes, you are mm. right. Uh, some strange situations that uh, maybe someone is going in, in the wrong directions, uh, maybe someone uh, left his case and uh, go away. Uh, so this was uh, actually uh, the basic work on in my PhD. I uh, was trying to use artificial intelligence, computer vision techniques, uh, and uh, some machine learning techniques to, to handle uh, all uh, this process. Mm. Uh, in this period, um, I worked with many professors in Japan, uh, Waseda University actually, and another uh, project in Australia, it was in 2017. Um, uh, let's say that, uh, the, that we, we collaborated with them uh, to apply our studies and academic uh, output in, in a different project in Australia. Mm. And, and where where did you go in Australia in specific? Uh, Sydney, 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 yes. Yeah. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful city. Yes, a really <laughs> beautiful city actually. And, uh, yeah. Good people, yeah. helpful people, so, so yeah. much helpful people. And where in Japan did you go? Uh, was it that? was in Tokyo. Okay, yes. in Tokyo itself. Yes. Uh, after that, in 20, uh, 2020, I returned back to my city. home. <laughs> 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 yes. That's one of the biggest big in the world, I think. Uh, Area-wise and population-wise, that's what I understand. Yes, but uh, and, and also very... Uh, uh, the costly and uh, you are right. Yeah. Uh, One of the biggest in, every, in a lot of things. Yeah. A lot of things, yes. Yeah. 
technology, of course. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Big technologies actually uh, mm -hmm. in Tokyo uh, we, we, mm -hmm. we found and uh, we found in this city actually. Mm -hmm. uh, and then after that, in 2020, I returned back to my home university, Monofa University, and mm -hmm. uh, we worked actually on many projects uh, in the smart agriculture and the water quality and uh, after that very important uh, field. yes uh, iot mm. based applications and mm. we used artificial intelligence to face some problems that we we are uh, covering down our uh, climate change and so on excellent Thank so, so uh, you mentioned iot so uh internet of things i will yes. i will uh, uh, put this forward in a question along with cyber security so let's start with definitions if you allow us dr mustafa sure. How would you define IoT uh, and how would you define cybersecurity in the simplest way possible? So, okay, I okay. mean, uh, all of the non, all of us non-specialized uh, uh, people can, okay, can understand. Okay. Uh, let's start first by cybersecurity. Actually, cybersecurity, uh, we can generally define it as uh, uh, the technologies and processes and actions that you take to, uh, to secure your system. Okay, uh, actually to secure your whole digital world. Okay, by the processes uh, or first by the technologies we mean if you are using uh, some password for your Wi-Fi router, this is a technology. If you are using uh, a kind of uh, antivirus, this is a technology. If you are using some hardwares uh, dedicated for the, for the security and so on, all these are technologies that you are using in cybersecurity field. Okay, uh, regarding the processes in this actually, uh, in this topic, we are talking about the procedures you are using. Uh, when I, I define for my system, when I, I, I will try uh, to give someone um, the, 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 the permissions to, to enter this system, for example, I will give him a username and password, and I will give him after that an OTP uh, sent over his mobile phone and so on. So all these are called uh, processes. Okay, so cybersecurity includes all the processes, the technologies, the actions you are taking, all the functions that you are trying to do to secure your, system, uh, your, your current system. And of course, this is important f for in every field. I guess, yes. Again, in yes. the banking in world, in, in, in the airports, in the uh, nations or state uh, secrets. I mean, it's important in every, just about any field we can think of. You about, are right. right? Uh, actually, uh, cybersecurity, there are mm. a, a lot of types of, of cybersecurity, mm. but the, mis uh, the, most, uh, the, the most common types of cybersecurity, mm. we have network security. In this type of security, you are uh, most, import uh, most uh, uh, let's say, uh, we, we are very careful uh, regarding the network itself. You are trying to, to make it safe network. I do, uh, when, when, for example, you are trying to make your uh, home Wi-Fi network a hidden one, this is a network security action. Mm. When you try uh, to mm. put a, a password or something like that, mm. this is uh, a network security and so on. You are mm. trying to prevent an, uh, any unauthorized Intruder, yeah, access yeah, unauthorized yeah, for yeah. your network. Yeah. So this kind of, uh, of, of security is called network security. We have other types, actually. Okay. okay? We okay. have application security, mm. we have cloud security, we have mobile security, and finally mm. we have IoT security. Mm. Okay? By the mobile security, when you are trying to put your fingerprint to open your mobile, this is a kind of security. Okay. When you are trying to uh, secure your mobile apps or your photo in mm. WhatsApp application or something like that, mm. uh, when you are trying to take a screenshot on the, the application... S say if you are trying to make a... A transaction deal in a stock market through your mobile. You that are right. Yeah. So is this this mm. field is, is regarding uh, mm. the security of the mobile applications itself. Mm. And uh, on every mobile application, mm. we have uh, a finance applications, we have a medical applications, we have a lot of applications that we mm. are trying to secure. All mm. these applications actually. Regarding the IoT applications or IoT security, we are trying to secure the sensors that we are used to detect some uh, phenomena in, in our life. Mm. Uh, let's talk about uh, smart agriculture, for example. If we are going to talk about agriculture, we are trying to put some sensors to get the temperature, the humidity, and so on. Uh, so we have to secure all the data sent from these sensors to the cloud storage. Okay, if we, if we secure these sensors and the data sent by them, then I will guarantee that I have an accurate data. If these data can be hacked, for example, the temperature uh, is, is uh, 30 degree, and I hack this value to be 70 degree, and this kind I may harm this this land and this uh, crop, of course. Mm, uh, mm. So this one uh, is related mm. to uh, as mm. IoT security or mm. IoT security. Well, what about the word cloud? We we use we hear it a lot these days. Explain to us. Uh, okay, briefly cloud term. Okay, briefly. Um, let's say five or ten years ago, 
uh, we was depending on putting all the photos, videos, and everything on your uh, 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 home storage, mm -hmm. okay, your laptop, mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. PC, or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. But now you are just taking some photos, and it's uploaded to your Google Cloud, Google account, mm -hmm. uh, your um, uh, let's say uh, your iPhone account, okay. So this is a kind of uh, storage, storage services actually by a big vendors. The, those vendors uh, give you the service and take a small amount of money from you mm. uh, to eliminate the buying of your storage in your home and so on. Mm. Uh, they take the responsibility of securing all this data and uh, uh, give you more storage and, and it will be actually uh, lower price uh, in terms of money for, for, for the end users and so on. Okay. Uh, be again, before we, we, we talk about what happened last week, allow me to ask you, about the, the match, the ever um, the match that never ends between uh, uh, the hackers uh, and those in charge of cyber security. Tell us w what's going on in, in the match now, and wh who's winning, and, and okay. who's expected to win in the future, and the dangers of hacking. And, and Okay, so. perfect. Actually, this is a very good question. Uh, it's interesting. It's interesting to know yes, from, interesting from experts like you. I mean, what's going on? Uh, actually, yeah. I, w I, w I want to, to tell you that uh, the hackers are good people, not bad people. Okay, but, uh, but that is actually because we have a hacker and a cracker. Okay. okay. The difference between hacker and cracker, hacker is someone that has the knowledge to uh, know, let's say, the failures of the system. But he is not... Um, causing any harm for this system. He okay. is just calling the, the, the owner of the system mm. and let him know that your system has a failure mm. in this a part. A certain weakness part here or there. Yes, this yeah. one is a hacker. Mm. But we have another one which, which is called cracker. Okay. The cracker is trying to use all the failures of your system to make attacks on your mm. system. Mm. Okay. Uh, to for whichever purpose. Yeah, for which uh, any, purpose. Any purpose. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the match now we can say that it, it's between the hackers that are, are trying to detect uh, these failures. Okay, as a good one, or, or say, let's say that uh, I'm a hacker, I'm trying to find the, the vulnerabilities in your system to mm. give you the option to fix this one. Mm. And there is another one which is a cracker. Can I say that the hacker is the intelligence? Let's say, like, it's like, yeah, the hacker is the intelligence, the apparatus that's trying, yeah, to, yes, to cracker, tell you, cracker, uh, to cracker. warn you of things. And that the cracker is, let's destroy, say... He is trying yeah. to destroy your system, actually. Yeah. Okay? Mm. Or make the some enemy. benefits from you mm. using, using, mm. Uh, using your system, uh, mm. by harming your system. So, the so who's winning now? Hackers or crackers? Okay, both of them are going in a good uh, speed. Okay, uh, crackers really? try to, to destroy everything, and hackers mm. try to eliminate crackers mm. of, of destroying everything. Uh, mm. But both of them now actually are depending on AI, artificial mm. intelligence, mm. Uh, and this is uh, a big issue to, to consider actually. Mm. Uh, so it's, it's, it's let's say that uh, it's a match that goes to the infinity. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's the logical. Yes. <laughs> Uh, if the, if the hacker tries uh, to, yes. to, to give, but but should anybody worldwide worry about the security of his or her of course. stuff? Yes, of course, mm. because every everyone in in this world actually uh, has, let's just say, a smartphone uh, has mm. a cloud account that he is saving his data, uh, has uh, some money in, in mm. a bank account. He he, he mm. needs this bank account to be secured. Mm. Um, mm. Everyone is concerned with cybersecurity, actually, mm. in these days. And, and I guess, yeah, and I guess the hacker cracker uh, matches is, is also would be uh, very heated at the very top level. Let's say between if there is a war between two states, if there is a, a commercial war, even a trade war, a problem uh, at the state and intelligence and, and army levels. I believe this is very, very important. Yes, this is very important actually, mm. and, and and we see this nowadays mm. in, in mm. a lot of wars. Mm. Uh, let's say if I have a drone, mm. uh, I put some. Uh, mm. Uh, some explosive materials on this drone. Mm. I try, I try mm. to, to move this drone to go mm. to another, to, to mm. a different place mm. to make an explosion or something like that. Mm. If I hacked this drone and mm. changed the route of this drone, mm. I, I want the situation actually. Mm. So everyone is trying to mm. hack uh, mm. all the possibilities to, to give, to, to have mm. uh, a chance to, to win. Mm. His situation. This, yeah. is, this is actually okay. what I'm trying to see. D Dr. Mustafa, what happened uh, uh, last week with Microsoft and, and how did it affect uh, the whole world and why specifically airports in, in specific? Okay, let's say that uh, over, uh, uh, it's around 70% of the users in the world are using uh, Microsoft Windows, okay? 
so Microsoft is a big entity. So it's a big organization, uh, of course, as we know. Uh, Microsoft is uh, is working with a third party called uh, CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike is a definite uh, company that is uh, dedicated for crowd, yes. not cloud. No, 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 Crowd. Okay. Crowd, CrowdStrike. It's the name of the company. This company tries to secure a lot of, uh, it gives a lot of services for security. One of them is called Falcon Sensor, mm. if, if I'm right. It's mm. called, yes, Falcon Sensor. Falcon Sensor is, is a system they uh, provided for Microsoft to secure all the windows uh, for all the users, okay? So what happens is that uh, an update happened for uh, the system called Falcon Sensor. This update uh, has been pushed to all the users around the world. All the users get the update, but this update was having some problems in it. It has a technical issue. Okay. So what happens after that? That the devices restart and the blue screen arises and the devices still start and start and start and so on. Uh, let's say that all the people that have this update face this problem. Mm. Okay, is that actually what happened? So, so, so it's not so a problem with, with airports uh, uh, solely? Uh, no, it, it's, it was in airports, it was in hospitals, it was in train mm. stations, it mm. was in, uh, mm. l uh, let's say, mm. uh, we, we have mm. banks in Australia, we have mm. hospitals in USA, Germany and the UK, uh, mm. television channels such as Sky News, Australia Television, we have mm. metro stations in USA, railway mm. stations, AP, mm. uh, which is a good, uh, a, a, mm. very, a very well known uh, company. Mm. We have AWS services, Amazon Web Services. Mm. All these uh, mm. services were stopped actually. So why were some uh, countries uh, and some sectors more affected and why were other countries and other sectors less affected or not affected at all? We'll get to the Egyptian case wh yeah. where I believe there was zero effect if I understood Yes, correct. actually we can say that uh, mm. is, is, is the amount of effect uh, is depending on the number of the users using this system which is Windows operating system. Uh, for example, here in Egypt and in, in many countries in, uh, in Middle East actually, we are using uh, different systems. Uh, it's called Unix or Linux. Uh, these systems will not be affected by the sensor, by the Falcon sensor update. Mm. So, because we actually don't, didn't use the operating system itself. All the systems, or all the, the, the countries and places uh, that are using, sen uh, using Windows, and mm. depending on this Falcon sensor system, mm. was affected actually. Okay, uh, across, uh, uh, across many whole, sectors, yes. uh, not yes. just uh, the, the airports or the transportation No, 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 not, uh, not mm. only the airports, but we can mm. say that airports uh, have the most significant issue mm. because, as you know, it's, 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 mm. it's a, uh, yeah, of course a money issue, as you know. Yeah, yeah, and, um, and, and we, there are a lot of uh, safety rules and regulations when it comes yes. to, you know, to planes taking off or landing, I mean, it's a... Uh, yeah. You are right. For hospitals, yeah. actually, uh, hospitals. They, they try to postpone uh, mm. some, some sort mm. of surgical operations, but, mm. but for plants and so on, mm. uh, planes, I'm sorry, for and so on, we, we have to stop everything. Right. I don't know right. uh, which safety is this one. Safety precautions. Yes. Safety, safety is more important in some cases. Ab absolutely. Uh, so, and, and Dr. Mustafa, is, is this system better than that system? I mean, again, I, I understood that in Egypt, let's say, or Lebanon, or, uh, or Saudi Arabia, or the United Ab Emirates, there were no problems, but in the USA, in Australia, in the big uh, the countries around the world, there were, in Germany, there were problems. So is this system better than that system, or, or is that system, I mean, the one we have yes, here, yes, in I, Egypt, I, I, more I safe, I because it was, it, yeah, it was not affected? Actually, engineering-wise, we can't, we can't say that this one is a good one and this one is a bad one. Actually, uh, there are many parameters. Mm. Uh, uh, this system has some advantages and some does disadvantages, and this one has uh, another advantage and so on. Uh, Windows system is, is more easier for the operators. Mm. If I have a Windows system, it will be easy for me to, to operate it, to handle it. Uh, it will be very easy to, to train someone to use the system, actually. Uh, but, but one of the disadvantages, uh, it's loose, uh, lower security, mm. okay? It has some security issues, and also uh, it has uh, a big price, actually, mm. okay? But Unix and Linux systems, uh, it's, it's based on, on, on free softwares and so on, so it's, uh, it, it has a lower price. This is one of, uh, of the parameters. Mm. It, it's a very, very secure system, okay? But we have some usability issues. We can say that in anyone uh, have to handle or work on this system must have a level of experience uh, to handle this system and work mm. on it carefully. Okay. Uh, back again to the Microsoft uh, problem. 
So this was not a, a cracker issue. This was a mistake. Okay, let's say by, that, that by it Falcon, was a by yes, Falcon yes. Movie. It was a mistake by CrowdStrike actually mm. that caused this problem. Mm. But to be honest, uh, as uh, CrowdStrike um, did this mistake, or CrowdStrike was hacked. Ah, we uh, so uh, no uh, one the question knows. remains open. Yes, no, 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 no See. one knows mm. till now. Okay, it may be this. So maybe c w w uh, the, the the nice term I heard, crackers were, were behind this. Yes, maybe. yes, maybe it's possible. Maybe. It's possible. Or it's a what? A strategic mistake? I mean, I mean that that's a big mistake. F it's fatal mistake, mistake. Actually, yes, mm. it's a fatal mistake because mm. actually uh, it causes around uh, mm. sixty billion dollars. Mm. Uh, from all, all, mm. all, all these, mm. uh, and you know the word fatal mistake uh, is uh, exists in, in, in all branches of engineering, especially uh, yes. uh, uh, even structural engineering. And uh, this word fatal mistake. I mean, you can do many mistakes, uh, normal mistakes, uh, but small mistakes. Small if mistakes. You, you can overcome it. Okay. But would but you describe yes. what happened as a fatal mistake? It's a fatal mistake. Actually. Mm. Mm. And uh, but, but but let's say that this gave us the opportunity to think. Uh, should we always uh, depend on only one uh, service provider? So I, I think that this mm. gives a good alarm for, for mm. humanity to, to think mm. about that. 70% uh, that depends on only one service provider is a big number. And can can uh, um, a company or a state or an entity depend on more than one provider? I mean. Could could you use Microsoft and Linux at the same time? I mean, Not at the same time, but mm. but 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 uh, but let's say that you have to always have a plan B for anything. Mm. This is very important. Okay, mm. I, I I am I I make I may do something log, uh, called uh, risk analysis. In risk mm. analysis, we are trying to to study all the parameters of my system. I'm trying to make this system to make some functionality. I am depending on this service provider to give me this service and my system operates normally. But what will happen if this service provider fallen, for example? Okay? For any purpose, it may be a technical issue, it may be a financial issue, it may be mm. a political issue. Mm. Sometimes, uh, we, we, we all, all, all of us know the, the problem mm. between Huawei and Google, mm. Uh, mm. I think many years ago. Mm. Okay? So, but, but in this case, Huawei depends on itself. It, it, it worked and mm. provided their services by their own operating system and so on. Mm. So uh, always you have to select one service provider and it will be better to select another service provider, um, let's say for um, any certain services, any, 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 any okay. urgency or, or yeah, something like uh, that. Yeah. Uh, so, so we can depend on more than yes, one. Yes, we can do that. Okay. Uh, Dr. Mustafa, so how was the situation solved uh, in the end, the, p the airport problem and the hospital problem? Actually, the situation solved by another update from CrowdStrike, uh, but there was a, a simple solution. Uh, if you logged into your Windows, uh, fault Windows actually in the safe mode and try to, to remove the, the, the previous update, your Windows will work and so on. Mm. But this depends on the amount of the knowledge uh, on the user, uh, of the user that mm. using this Windows. Uh, this needs someone that knows uh, what's mean by safe, uh, safe mode, uh, mm. how, how to, to uninstall mm. uh, any updates. Uh, okay, but, but, but these big uh, institutions in m m have this knowledge, so why did they fall? Okay, in the institutions in have in the knowledge, but, but, mm. but the operator of mm. the systems don't mm. have this one. Mm. And we assume that we know that the problem caused by the update of CrowdStrike. Mm. Uh, during the problem itself, I don't know what happens. I don't know that this update causes this uh, issue, actually. Mm. So it needs, uh, let's say, uh, competition thinking to follow but up even, the problem. Even us uh, regular, normal users uh, of IT were advised, we were advised, like, uh, on this, you know, if you have this uh, laptop or this uh, uh, phone or something, Whenever you, you are given suggestions for updates, just say no. I mean, I mean okay, we but were but given that advice. I mean, so, 
Okay, this is not actually true. And I know, I don't know if it's a correct advice. <laughs> it, it's not, it's mm. not always a correct one. Mm. Uh, but in this case, I mean, in this it case, it would be a good one. one. But, but actually, to prevent some uh, headache for the users, uh, if you are using your mobile phone, you find a notification. Uh, Google Play Services is updating mm. all the applications. Mm -hmm. Actually, it happens automatically. Mm. So all the updates now are happened automatically mm. on, on all the systems. Okay. Uh, but you have, uh, if you have the option you can wait some time to make sure that the update is stable. So I want to go back again t to the problem. So w what happened? W were, was the Falcon update done, uh, executed automatically? Yes, in these it was places? executed automatically. automatically. Places, so yes. there was no choice for the, the ones in charge of that hospital or that airport or to accept or reject? Yes, uh, the, the, the it was done choice. automatically. Uh, there was not any choices. Uh, mm. do, do you want to update? Do you, do, do you want to respond to those updates? Uh, mm. it so it, it's, it's only the mistake of CrowdStrike? Yes. Okay. Technical, it's a technical yeah. issue from, from, oh. uh, from CrowdStrike. Okay. What's the, the, the cause of this uh, technical issue? Mm. No one is sure about it, actually. Okay. And, and we, we will never know or we shall know in the future? Maybe, yes, maybe no. But, but I think uh, mm. a financial issue, uh, they, they will not... And uh, what try. price will CrowdStrike pay? I mean, they have to pay for, for all of these damages and all, all of these <laughs> losses. Actually, I mean. Yes, maybe. Mm. Mm. Uh, and and it, it's now suffering from... Uh, uh, some some reduction in their in their prices in the the stock markets the stock mean? markets and so on. Oh. Yes. Okay. I think it's mm. around 20 percent. A 20 percent yes. drop. Yeah, but on something like this, maybe 50 percent is not enough. <laughs> A 50 percent drop. <laughs> from is from our point of view, yes, but but yeah. uh, from uh, other points of view. Yeah, the market is always right. This is what they say. Yes. The market is always yes. right. Um, so, uh, what are the recommendations, Dr. Mustafa, to avoid similar scenarios uh, uh, in, uh, in the future? Actually, recommendations for organizations uh, is, uh, are, are different from users. Yes. For organizations, as I mentioned previously, every organization should select one service provider and a plan mm. B for another service provider and make, mm. um, let's say, uh, uh, let's say, a, a good risk analysis plan. Okay, mm. if, if I have some risk uh, from this service provider, I have to put a, a big weight for this risk uh, factor mm. and I have to search to another service provider or at least uh, if, if this happens, what, what can I do to solve my problem? Mm. Uh, as you know, in Australia, for example, four hours, everyone in Australia in a definite uh, bank, uh, they can't uh, deposit, they can't withdraw money, they can't know uh, their balance uh, value. At this um, uh, troubled uh, moment, is there a risk that some money would be taken from certain accounts actually to no, other accounts? Actually, no, because the bank mm. itself, the bank system itself mm. was, was uh, stable and mm. nothing hacked the bank okay. itself, but the service was mm. off. Mm. Okay. Uh, for me, if okay. the service was off, I, I, can't, I can't follow up my account for four hours. Yeah. Uh, I will think about everything. Yeah. Do I still have the money? <laughs> I will ask myself, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yes. So, uh, wh what about the situation here in, uh, in Egypt? So, uh, will we stay with uh, Linux, you said? Yeah, I think, yes. So, we are going to, to stay with Linux and Unix mm. because it's uh, actually... It's, uh, it's had it proved its, uh, its worth. Yes, mm. it, uh, from the point of view of security, it has a uh, higher security, of course. Mm. Uh, and uh, if you talk about the, the, the general uh, cost of the system, it will be lower than the Windows. So I think uh, it's a very good uh, choice, actually. How do you see cybersecurity in general in, in Egypt? And what are the challenges? And what can we do to improve it more? Actually, cybersecurity in, in, in the whole world have a lot of challenges, not only in Egypt. Mm. But here in Egypt, we can say that we have to build our service. We, we, we have to work on, um, on all the generations, starting from the primary students to, to, to uh, the college students and graduates and after graduates and so on, postgraduates, I mean. Uh, but uh, let's say that nowadays in, in Egypt, actually, we have a lot of projects and, and, and mm. initiatives that we can see. We, we have, for example, uh, this project, the government data center and cloud computing. Mm. Uh, this one was actually uh, uh, by President Abdel Fattah Sisi and Dr. Mm. Amtalat. 
uh, the Minister of the Communication and Information Technology, we mm. have some good initiatives actually. We have Egypt FWD, this initiative is actually for the students at the faculty level and graduate students. We have another initiative for secondary level students, it's called Digital Egypt Cups Initiative. We have another one, Digital Egypt Marvels Initiative, this initiative for primary students. So I think that the country is, is working on this direction very well. It started with the students at the primary level and also on the secondary level and at the same time on the students at the college level and on the graduates and so on. All these initiatives are free. Okay? Mm. So mm. now it's our role now. Uh, I think that we have to put efforts. We have to do a lot of efforts. We have to learn. We have to keep uh, the match, as you, as, as, as you said, uh, yeah, between uh, those and those. And, and I guess... Um, uh, uh, is the field open, I mean, for more m uh, and more yes. uh, uh, development and uh, uh, or are we drawing near the, the end of, of the revolution of the technology? Actually, we, we can say that, th that we are in the beginning because artificial intelligence started now mm. and everything now is depending on the artificial intelligence. Uh, mm. Let's say that uh, for me, uh, two or three years ago, if I try to make a program, I will code this program. I will take, let's say, one month to code to, to all, the, all the codes that, that will uh, have this program. But nowadays, due to the artificial intelligence, I can apply the same code in just two days, actually. Because Amazing. I will and not you're talking only about uh, a few years. Yes. So you're saying that uh, you know, you just in, in a couple of years, you, we, can, we have already witnessed a big leap and, and we can yes, also yes, we continue can. to witness that. And yes, we can say that. But, but I have to tell you something. If you have the opportunity to compete now and you stayed at your level, didn't make any advance in your, in your knowledge and so on, in the next year you will not be able to compete. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. You have to start. You have to start, let's say, yesterday, not today. Okay. Mm -hmm. If, if mm -hmm. you have the ability, if you have the time, you have to join any initiative, you have to think about that, you have to work, you have to know uh, how the world is going, actually. Right. And uh, I'm sure you would like to see many Egyptian youth, uh, um, uh, male and female, get, uh, get into this, uh, this field. But uh, what is your advice to those uh, embarking on, on this field? What is the role of the parents, maybe, in guiding the, the elderly generation, of, of course, which cannot cope with all of this, but can at least advise <coughs> their, their children? Actually, uh, thanks to the president at the Fatah Sisi, we, we saw it in, in many conferences right. in, in the last weeks, he uh, is trying to encourage everyone, the parents, the students, uh, yeah. and everyone, uh, please join this field, please mm. uh, try to, to know. Yeah. Uh, a lot of initiatives, these initiatives, co yeah, let's say, uh, it costs a lot and a lot of money actually mm. but for any children or any parent you will work for free mm. okay you, you will not pay anything so mm. you it's will an study for free yes, yes it's an opportunity for you mm. that that's what uh, what you can say actually mm. uh, so if you didn't take this one mm. uh, do you guarantee that you will have another opportunity mm. this, okay. is, this is the question okay on that note, dear viewers, on behalf of you, we thank very much our dear guests with us here in the studio. Dr. Thank Abdullah you. Mustafa, thank Assistant so Professor at the Computer Science and Engineering uh, Department, Faculty of Electronic Engineering, Munafaya University, also a board member of the, uh, a direct, uh, uh, the uh, member of the Board of Directors of Cybersecurity okay. in and Munafaya University. It's been a pleasure having you with us, uh, Dr. It, it Mustafa. Was, it was mine, actually. Thank you so much, and uh, it was my pleasure to, thank to you have very you this evening. Thank you. Thank you and uh, thank you dear viewers for watching us. Please stay with me.